So, hi guys. Um, I'm going to do something a little bit different that we haven't um, done before. So, a few days ago, as you know, Mummy's having baby and Mummy fell over in the bathroom. So, it's one of the jobs we haven't done at this house is the bathroom floor has always been really, really slippy. So, time has come to do the bathroom floor, but like everything that we ever do in this house, it always turns into a major. So, I am taking up all the tiles, but for some reason, the tiles that the toilet are sat on aren't attached to anything. All the adhesive that was under there wasn't gone off. So, I think we're going to have to take the toilet out, so I'm not quite sure how we're going to work around that yet. We've got everything here to do it. We've got some insulated board, we've got underfloor heating mat, we've got some lovely black and white tiles. So we'll keep doing little snippets as we go along. And this is a horrible messy bit, but hopefully after we get this bit done, we'll get the floor nice and level. It will start to look beautiful. Right? See you soon. So, a little bit of a bathroom update. We've got all the floor up. I ended up having to take the sink out. I've got the loo chucked upon bits of wood. So, I had a late night last night and got the floor all sealed. So, next, I need to cut the insulated board to try and keep it a bit warmer and a bit, a bit less damp than what it was before. So, Steph's panicking because we've not got a sink. But, we're alright, we'll make do. We managed without a boiler for a week, so, what's the bathroom sink? Right, we'll get some balls down. So we're on day two of, oh no, day three. Took a day to get them up pretty much. And we've got the insulated board down. So we've got the heat mat down today. We ended up taking the toilet out altogether because it's been leaking forever. So we're just about to start and lay some tiles. How oh, about that? Right, I'll show you as we go along. So it's late in the day, Daddy's just about to clock off for the evening. So we've got a few tiles down, just enough to get the loo back in. And then probably tomorrow night after work, I'll get the rest, well not the rest, get some more tiled and we get the sink back in then. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? Ta -da. Right. Bath and bed for daddy. So, did another late night last night and I got all the tiles down. So, I'll just show you how it looks now. It's nearly finished. Ta da! So, it's got the grouting left to do. How good's that? So, I decided to do it diagonally in the end which was really difficult to work out how to do the cups but I got there in the end, didn't waste too much tiles so I'm going to get some grouting down and then hopefully later on we'll be able to get the sink back in which will be easier Right, I'll get some grout mixed up So we're all grouted all cleaned up, got the sink back in, it's all plumbed back up. So we've pretty much got a functioning bathroom. With me boarding the floor, the bath panel doesn't fit, so I need to cut the bath panel down and then box the plumbing in. And then we need to do something with these walls. So we're not going to take the tiles off the wall, but the grout's all horrible, so we're going to make us mind whether we're going to try and clean it, or if not we're going to fetch it all out and replace it. We shall see. But look at the floor. Oh. And it's really grippy, so we won't tumble over, hopefully. So it's been done quite a bit of work on the bathroom but I haven't been filming. So the floor's all finished and we're all covered up at the minute. I'll explain why the floor's all covered up in a second. So 
I don't know whether you noticed any of the videos, but the walls was really, really mouldy. So we was contemplating retiling all the walls. But Steph found some cleaner on the internet. I'll find the bottle later and show you what it is. It's absolutely fantastic. It smells awful, but it's fantastic. So you spray it on the walls, you leave it sort of 20 minutes or so, and um, the mould just disappears. So I didn't do any before footage, unfortunately. But all the wall up here, all this grout up here was all mouldy and horrible. And now it looks lovely and clean. And there's all the same over here as well. What we're gonna do today is whoever grouted the bathroom didn't make a particularly good job of it. So there's quite a few gaps in it and whatnot. And plus I've gone down the wall here for the wiring for the hunt floor eating. So today we're gonna to regrout the walls and then hopefully this is the last bit. The other thing I've done as well is the water pipes around across the back of here. I've boxed all those in with some um, with some PVC because uh, it looks sort of horrible. And then, like I say, do the walls. The floor's all done. You can see a little bit of the floor, a little bit of the floor in there, a little bit of the floor, a little bit of the floor. Ooh, oh. And then we've also as well, um, we've got a home delivery from uh, from Wix. So finally the horrible door can go as well. So we'll get rid of that as well. And then um, I don't know whether, you, whether you've seen it in some of our videos, the doors on the kitchen and the living room will all be the same. Painting the roof as well. Roof all done nice. Right, so we shall go and mix up some grout for the walls. So, got all the grouting done. Does it look better? I bet on the camera it doesn't look any difference. So, all the grouting is done. All of it done. All of it done. So, we're just tidying down. So, the only good thing I've left to do now I've done the floor is made the height a bit higher. So, I need to cut the bath panel down and put the batten on the floor as well to support it. Wasn't it look better? All nice and clean. So I've used some proper anti-mould grout as well, so hopefully the mould won't come back. So I'll finish tidying up. And we can move back in with all of those bits. Properly. All the dirty bits are done now. So we just need to put the controller on for the floor. Controller, the bath panel, and the door. Right, I'll finish off tidying and putting stuff back in. So, bathroom finally finished. All done. So what we've done since the last little update is we have done the in the floor eating's all wired up and working and the floor is beautiful. It's much better. Um, I didn't quite believe that it would be able to actually heat a room and the last couple of mornings now the weather's getting a little bit nicer the central heating's not been on and you're coming in the morning and the room feels much warmer and the rest of the house and then the other thing that we've done finally got rid of the horrible doors the horrible door did the ones in the living room and the kitchen earlier on we've done the bathroom one as well so we're all all tidy so all that's left to say is thanks for watching our bathroom renovation project and um, we'll see you soon on whatever we may be doing thanks for watching bye bye woohoo